Hello, welcome back to the workshop. I hope you're doing very well. So on today's episode, I need to fix something. So I have a belt grinder and uh, on this, the bearing has seized up. <laughs> it's pretty terrible. So what I'm gonna do today real fast is I'm gonna try and turn up another wheel to fit some other bearings I have. Now I have no idea how to do any of this stuff, how to install bearings, how to do the right stuff for it, and I've never bored a hole with a boring bar. So this is gonna be exciting, trying to make this little project, and I really hope that you enjoy this, me stumbling around on the lathe, trying to actually make something to size for once. just turned my first fitting threads on the lathe ever. This is awesome. <laughs> Okie dokie, I messed up. Time to start again on another one. Okay, I finally got that half of the axle forged. I just need to cut off a little bit right about the end there. Ah, oh, stupid. Just stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Don't stand right next to that when you turn it on with the coolant. That. So I've been working on this all day, and the idea was to quickly make up a wheel. Uh, and obviously to do that, I needed to make a new axle, because the bearings I had weren't the right size. I figured it would make a very fun project to just, instead of going and getting the right size bearings and just making the wheels, to do the whole thing. Uh, little did I know that I would be making mistake after mistake after mistake. I kept making mistakes. I think this is attempt number three or four. I don't know, but I've, 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 I've messed up a lot on this. Uh, I, think, I think reasons for it include the fact that I'm very much a beginner lathe turner. Turning to dimensions is still pretty difficult to me. Right now I'm using a die. I've got my lathe in a low gear. So that means there's so much stuff you've got to move for the chuck to turn, so it holds it pretty well. And I've got a uh, Morse taper adapter in my tailstock which is working very well for keeping the die uh, nice, and, uh, nice and square onto the workpiece. Then obviously as I turn it, I'm just kind of feeding in the, uh, the tailstock handle right there. Making mistakes can, uh, can of course be a pretty annoying thing. It would be very easy to get frustrated making mistakes after mistakes and essentially kind of wasting a day, and wasting a video opportunity. Um, oh, amplify. It seems to me that, you know, if one gets frustrated about making mistakes, one is just a hell of a lot more likely to make mistakes. So, I think one of the nice things about the craft of blacksmithing and things like this is, you tend to get pretty used to making mistakes, because they happen on a near regular basis. Like, it's, it's freaking regular that you make mistakes, and I think that's a nice thing. It's a nice little bit of personality training right there. You know, get us all used to making mistakes and, and dealing with, uh, with, with problems that we've caused. Take it on, take it on our own personal responsibility, you know? It's, it's, a, it's a pretty fun thing. Okay, now I've got some aluminium, two inch round in the vise the chuck even. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna face off the face off this and Thank <laughs> you. 
day. I, I, I've learned so much. Now, this thing isn't perfect. The bearing fit is absolutely not what it should be. I still don't know how to do that stuff and get that perfectly right. I learned a lot about this though. I certainly know how to attempt this again. I'd have a good deal more success. It's been a lot of fun making this. The best part about this is, all I would have had to do is probably drive about a mile and buy a new bearing, but I learned how to use my lathe a little bit better today. So I'm gonna call that a massive success. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. It's a pleasure as always. Bye.